An aphrodisiac, Wikipedia article audio. An anaphrodisiac is a substance that quells or blunts the libido. It is the opposite of an aphrodisiac, something that enhances sexual appetite. The word anaphrodisiac comes from the Greek privative prefix nu dash, denoting negation, and aphrodisiac, from the Greek goddess of love, Aphrodite. Some people use anaphrodisiacs in order to curb a very high libido or due to hypersexuality. However anaphrodisiacs are also used by those with an average libido, at times due to having incessant schedules. Some common anaphrodisiacs are ethanol and tobacco, but this is typically an unintended consequence and not often the main reason for use. While alcohol is used socially because it initially reduces mental inhibitions, studies have shown that over time alcohol physically decreases arousal and makes achieving climax more difficult. For this reason alcohol is considered an anaphrodisiac. Available anaphrodisiacs classes of substances History Opioids the class of pain-reducing substances which include morphine, heroin, and hydrocodone, are anaphrodisiacs. Side effects of certain antidepressant medications may be anaphroditic in nature, however, there are no prescription psychotropic drugs that have reliable anaphroditic effects. Antiandrogens such as cyproterone acetate and medroxyprogesterone acetate are sometimes prescribed to convicted sex offenders who are released on parole in an effort to stop them reoffending. however the high doses required often cause a range of side effects which may limit compliance. Other antiandrogens such as spironolactone and finasteride may also lower sex drive. Estrogens can act as anaphrodisiacs in men by suppressing testosterone production by the testicles. Herbal anaphrodisiacs have been employed by various religious sects and orders throughout history. Most commonly, chaste tree has been used to normalize hormones in both men and women. An overactive libido is very often treated herbally by addressing poor adrenal function. Rumors that the British Army put the 19th century anticonvulsant and sedative potassium bromide in soldiers' tea during World War II to damp soldiers' lust appears to be an urban myth. Given the long half-life of the drug in the body, a mildly sedated army would be unlikely to be an effective fighting force. A similar belief appears to exist in the United States about saltpeter in army coffee or in Russia about potassium bromide in army food. There are numerous reports of use of potassium bromide and potassium nitrate in Polish military, prisons, rehabs, and mental hospitals, but not in every facility. Scientific Study Barrister Sir Edward Marshall Hall theorized that murderer Holly Harvey Crippen was using hosina on his wife as an anaphrodisiac but accidentally gave her an overdose and then panicked when she died. Various forms of anaphrodisiacs have been promulgated at various periods in an attempt to cure hypersexuality in both humans and non-human animals. In both medieval history and modern times, Anaphrodisiacs have been used as a tool intended to reduce the sex drive of sex offenders. Studies have evaluated the effect of herbal anaphrodisiacs on men and women. These include studies on the effect of substances on both hormone levels and behavior. List of putative anaphrodisiacs the mechanism of the active component of some plant-based anaphrodisiacs may be the induction of enzymes that catalyze the conversion of sex hormone precursors into androstenedione, which promotes the reduction of sexual urges. Studies have demonstrated that some of these products inhibit 1,7-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase and 17,20 lyase, 
which catalyzes the conversion of 1,7-alpha-hydroxyprogesterone of androstenedione to testosterone. In one study a group of men were given an anaphrodisiac and the effect on the metabolism of mineralocorticoids in these men was recorded. During the period of administration, the testosterone concentrations decreased and the serum 1,7-alpha-hydroxyprogesterone concentrations increased. Testosterone levels fell by about 40% after administration and returned to normal after usage was discontinued. However, the actual effect of these medicines on sexual desire was not measured in the study. The amino acid 5-HTP, or 5-hydroxytryptophan, has been anecdotally reported to be a mild anaphrodisiac, as has the serotonergic M pathogen MDMA, popularly known as ecstasy. However, systematic study of these chemicals is lacking due to the off-patent nature of 5-HTP, and the legal control of MDMA. In addition, other serotonergic euphoriant drugs, like the psychedelic LSD, have been reportedly used to drastically increase sexual pleasure. MDMA in combination with a PDE5 inhibitor is termed sextasy. This combination increases libido and performance simultaneously. A PDE5 inhibitor taken alone has no effect on sex drive, suggesting that serotonergic euphorians like MDMA may actually increase libido while decreasing performance, similar to alcohol. A 2003 study has found that glycyrrhizin, the compound in licorice root, can lower levels of testosterone. The findings back up a previous study about the hormonal effects of licorice. The Iranian scientists came to the conclusion that the regular consumption of licorice can lower libido in men. However, the study also showed that the level of testosterone normalizes after abstinence of licorice within a few days and the effects completely disappear. Categories <laughs>